In this video, we're fixing one of the most frustrating issues you'll face when running N8N locally. Your webhook URL isn't accessible from the internet. If you've seen that error while working with the Telegram node or other N8N nodes that require a public webhook URL, don't worry. I've got a simple fix for you. Here's an example of what we're dealing with. And here's an example of what we're aiming for. Let's get started. All right, before we dive in, here's what you'll need to follow along. First, make sure Docker is installed and running on your machine and that you already have N8N installed in Docker. Second, if you're planning to test this with the Telegram node, you'll also need a Telegram access token from Botfather. Once you've got all that ready, you're good to go. Now let's walk through the three steps we're going to follow to configure a public webhook URL for your local N8N instance. First, we'll create an ngrok account and use it to generate a public URL for our local machine. Don't worry if you don't know what ngrok is, I'll explain in just a moment. Second, we'll configure our N8N Docker setup to use that public webhook URL. And third, we'll start ngrok and test the connection to make sure everything's working as expected. We'll dive into the first step. Let's create an ngrok account and set it up to generate a public URL for our local machine. Now, before we move on, what exactly is ngrok? Think of it like a bridge. You're working on something locally on your machine, but you want someone else or another service to access it from outside your local network. Ingrok takes your local server and securely exposes it to the public using a custom Ingrok URL that anyone can access from the internet. So even though your app is running privately on your laptop, Ingrok makes it temporarily public. That's all it is. Just a quick, secure way to expose your local machine to the web. Open your favorite web browser and type in Ingrok. Click on the first link that appears. This will take you to Engrok's landing page. You can log in or sign up depending on whether you have an account. Let's explore the sign up flow for a sec. You can sign up using a username and password, or you can sign up using Google or GitHub. Since I already have an account, I'm just gonna log in and I'm gonna choose GitHub. Once you're logged in, you're gonna be taken straight to the setup and installation section of the dashboard. Engrok has a setup guide for the most common operating systems as you can see. I'm gonna click on Windows. In order to install Ingrok on Windows, we'll need Chaco installed. If you don't have Chaco set up, I'll leave a link to this 3-minute video guide on how to install it. For Mac users, you'll need Homebrew installed, and here's a quick 2-minute video that shows how to install it. Alright, let's move on. I'm gonna take this command and paste it into my terminal. Then I'm gonna click Yes. Here's the command you're going to paste into the terminal if you're using a Mac. Moving on with the guide, I'm going to copy this link and paste it into my terminal. Next, click the section that says Static Domain. This will be your public domain name, and we will use it to create our custom webhook URL. Now, let's spin up Docker and configure N8N to use this URL as the base of our webhook URL. Click on Images, and let's create a new N8N container. Give your container an appropriate name, then configure your N8N port. I'm going to choose 5555. Then configure your volumes. Now, the environment variable section is the most important configuration because this is where we're going to configure our custom webhook URL. For the variable name, put this, and for the value, we're going to add this prefix, then add the static domain URL you generated from ngrok. I'm going to copy this. Then paste it here. Now, let's check if N8N is running. Good. N8N is running. Now, let's check if the custom webhook URL was set as intended, and I'm going to use a Telegram node to confirm this.
As you can see, we're using a custom webhook URL and not the default localhost webhook. Now, for this public webhook URL to work, we have to start in Grok using the terminal. I'm going to copy this command and paste it into my terminal, then add a port number at the end. Make sure the port number is the same port number your local N8N instance is running on. Good, now we have Ingrok running. Now, let's test our Telegram node and see if it works. And there we go. The Telegram node is working just as expected. I hope you found this video helpful. Catch you in the next one.